with a pork crown roast. Oh yeah. The roast is very large, the grill is very small. I don't know how this thing is gonna work out, honey. Keep watching, because you're gonna see how it all played out. We're kicking this review off with overall appearance, AKA the cuteness factor, because you guys know we test all of our grills based on cuteness factor, because looks are important. I'm gonna pull a Kiki and say, super cute grill. You can't take that from me. I just did. <laughs> this thing is called the Big Green Egg Mini Max, and it is mini and super adorable. It basically looks like the classic, iconic Big Green Egg, but shrunken down into a very cute, but efficient size. An ostrich egg or an emu egg is quite large. This thing's like a little teeny tiny robin egg. I thought it was super cute too. That color, the green color. Can we just talk about that beautiful green color? I love the color. I actually wanted a nail polish in that color. Couldn't find it. Big green egg, we're missing a marketing opportunity. <laughs> if we bought a nail polish and the color said big green egg green, I would buy like a million bottles of that. Now I feel like I can't go on without that. <laughs> Grill Master Green, that's also a name that they could use. <laughs> oh yes, oh my God, I like that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Not only is this super cute in appearance, I cannot get over the fact that the actual, what I would refer to as the vent, is called the Daisy Wheel. It's not every day that a specific vent on a grill gets its own fancy name. Speaking about the vents, I love that the bottom vent, it wasn't enough to just have the option to have it open or closed, which is typical for most grills. What more could you want? It's open, it's closed. It had like a mesh option. Do you want air, but do you also not want ashes to fall out? Because we got you covered, people. The mesh prevents any charcoal from falling out. I don't know if you've ever experienced this before, but a little chunk of hot charcoal falling out onto your little tootsie, that doesn't feel good at all. I loved the height of the grill. With the portable nest, it brought it up to the perfect grilling level. I didn't have to crouch down. It wasn't too high. Also something that was super cute that doesn't have to do with the actual appearance, the fact that Big Green Egg ran with the egg theme. Not only is it called a Big Green Egg because it looks like an egg, the actual stand that ours comes on because we have the ultimate kit is called the nest, as in an egg in a nest, which was so cool. Ceramic part that is actually the deflector in the grill, known as the conveg Tur. Love that. Okay, so they really went with that egg theme and I can respect that. I love it too. It's, it's very creative. And it adds to the overall fun factor of this whole grill. Also, super cute hooks on those little wood flaps. People think that like, okay, so it's just like a little hook, but we can't tell you how helpful that is when you're in the middle of a cook. You're like, where do I put the tool? Hanging off the side. Hooks are important. Moving on to efficiency. Honey, how do you think this thing performed? I thought it was incredibly impressive. So Big Green Egg is known for being able to hold temperatures for a very long time. And boy, did the Mini Max not disappoint on that front. Today happened to be a particularly chilly, windy day. It did not stray for around the 400 range. It held that temperature for about four hours straight. We did not have to babysit the grill. We didn't have to adjust the vents at all. People who think charcoal grills are like finicky, you gotta babysit them. I don't think you could get more set it and forget it. I was super impressed by the small amount of lump that it actually used. Grill itself was how we got the lump lit and going. Pause, let's be honest for a second. We have never lit charcoal without the help of a chimney. I'm gonna be honest, at first I was like, this is making me nervous. This is making me feel something's wrong here. Went outside of my comfort zone because I love my charcoal chimney, but I thought that that was very cool. It just saves you another step in the charcoal process. And if you're thinking like, how much can I actually fit on this grill? It looks really tiny, it's only 13 inches. You can fit quite a bit on it. We easily got the crown roast on. The bones were like barely clear in the top, but it fit. We were able to close the lid properly. You could even do a small turkey on that thing. The only thing that you can't do that I think this particular size limits you is a full brisket. But if you cut it in half, you would. <laughs> Moving on to worth the price, honey. Do you think that the Big Green Egg Mini Max is worth the price tag it comes with? Okay, so before I say if I think it's worth it, you are in the market for a Big Green Egg Mini Max. You better be looking to spend approximately $1,200 Canadian before tax 
for the ultimate kit. And what you get with the ultimate kit includes the carrier with the handles, the portable nest, the wood side mates, AKA what I call the wood flaps. <laughs> <laughs> that's not technical, but that's what they look like. The grid gripper, and that's to remove hot grill grates. Absolutely genius, big green egg. Why haven't we heard of this invention before? Three times throughout a cook, you're like, oh, I need to move my, my grate. Do I do it with grill gloves? Do I do it with tongs? What do I do here? The fact that there's an actual device for this, big green egg, well done. Well Loved done. It. Yeah. However, though, is the ultimate kit worth it? I don't personally know if it's worth it or not because without the kit, it's $859, making it a $341 difference. I don't know if that difference makes me want to get the ultimate kit because I actually like the fact that you can just put this thing on a tabletop and just go at her like that. So I would definitely spend the extra $300. It's $400. $341. You're rounding up. Everyone knows you need to round up. Do you think that that's worth $400? I do think it's worth $400. I would pay $400. Also, this thing weighs 76 pounds. Okay, so this is definitely a two-person when it comes to moving it. And when you move it with a buddy, it's actually not that heavy. Right now we're cruising on into happiness vibe. If you're watching this right now and you're like, what? This is a review and they're talking happiness vibe? Mm -hmm. You guys know grilling is all about does it make you happy? We could all be cooking inside, but we choose to cook outside as outdoor chefs because it makes us happy. So hence why we've included this in our review. Very happy. Extremely happy. Using the grill over the moon happiness. I was a happy gal. I was so happy. It was cold out there. It was windy out there. Nothing was getting us down during this cook. My goodness, can we talk about that pork roast? The bark added a simple SPG rub to the outside and somehow it like turned the pork into a briskety type bacon flavor oh. that, that that bark super succulent on the inside the smoke ring oh. the smoke ring the juice is running off of it perfectly crusty on the outside i have to be honest it also made me super happy to know that we are part of big green egg family so. big green egg is known for their die hard fans and we have always been looking from the outskirts me too i gotta say we have been quite jealous seeing pictures online people cooking on these grills yeah, now we're part of this family. I think I know the answer to this question already. Are you going to use the Big Green Egg Mini Max again? Yes, she is. Yeah, that's funny to even ask that question. What kind of question is that? Yeah. I loved that to me, even though it comes with a hefty price tag, I kind of think that this is a great entry level grill. It is extremely easy to operate. I think it would be great for somebody who's into barbecue. Maybe they have a gas grill or maybe they have a pellet grill and they're thinking, am I ready to embark on the journey of charcoal? I think this is the grill to start with. I wouldn't necessarily use it as a portable grill. It wouldn't be the first grill I reach for if we were going camping or something like that, simply because I would. you're I'll gonna start, carry it with these whippy noodle arms. <laughs> it's like, let's carry along the washer and dryer. <laughs> that would be cool to take camping, but I don't think I can carry it, honey. It's 80 pounds wrong. It's not a right or wrong answer, guys. It's heavy. It's portable. Get yourself a big green egg in the Stop covering up my face. <laughs> Thanks for watching, barbecue family. Okay, I know we said that it was cold here today, but it wasn't nearly as cold as it was in this other video over here. Check this one out. Oh. <laughs> that was so gross. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to bite me. Oh, my drool. Oh, my God. My hands are frozen. <laughs>